Hey, if you're using Google Analytics, you should be getting notifications or emails telling you to make the switch to Google Analytics 4. Most of us, or some of us in the past, have used Universal Analytics. Maybe you've used it with your SEO optimization tool or just basic analytics of your website. You know, hits, where are people coming from, what pages are they going to. Now, Google Analytics 4 is meant to change things. It's meant to make it easier to have other functionality and features. Not everybody agrees with it, but the pain point is that from the 1st of July 2023, which is just round the corner, you are going to have to make the switch. It's actually quite simple. Go to Google Analytics and every time you go to any one of your accounts, you're going to get this message and basically it's going to say you got to migrate away from UA. Now, you may already have done this on your website where you've got UA and GA4 enabled. But what you want to do is go to Google Analytics, go and select your property and go and hit save. By the way, if you do hit skip for now, don't worry. Every time you come back into Google Analytics, this pop up will appear automatically. And that website went through without a hitch. There wasn't much more to do because it already had the Google Analytics 4 built in a while ago. But here's a really old URL that I actually no longer use anymore. It's really, really dated. But this had Universal Analytics because GA4 did not exist at the point in time this was up and running. So what if you go to a really old website? There's no GA4. And now when you go to it, you'll get a warning at the top saying, well, you know, um, GA4, you know, you've got to make sure you manage it. If you hit manage GA4, it's going to just take you over to this screen here, which I already had open. And what you want to do is say, I want to create a GA4 property. Go and click get started and click create and continue. You will get asked to add a Google Tag Manager. Now they're off pros and cons to doing this one about page speed and also do you care about understanding the conversion on your website in terms of hot spots and where people are you could use an existing tag but most likely you're going to have to install one and you would hit this process is i'm not actually overly fussed so i've only hit install a google tag and i'm going to hit next you can use a third party plugin to install your google tag manager or you can do it manually by dropping in this bit of code into, say, code snippets or some custom code facility on your website. Let me now just hit done. So even though I haven't actually installed any Google Tag Manager onto the website, because this is a really old one anyway, the GA4 is now set up. When you refresh your page, I can now see that under that particular URL, it now has GA4. So it's a pretty pain-free, simple process to go for. Either you've already got it, you just got to confirm it, or you got to go through the steps. And it's not that difficult, you know, and I would strongly recommend any website before July 2023, just make sure you've gone through this process. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, live the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bag.